Well, it's the time of year where we look to the sky for some rain and relief, but also worry what could happen if those storms are too rough. Take a look at this video of monsoon winds tearing a roof right off a home. This happened just short of a year ago in a neighborhood on Tucson's east side. But there are some things you can do to reduce the chance of storms that they will tear into your property. Not on your side. Uh, Craig Smith is live with more on what you can do. Craig. We know here we are. The sun is out. The winds are relatively calm, but you know what's coming sooner or later. And if you are not prepared, those beautiful trees could end up causing terrible damage and weak spots in your roof could help the winds tear it apart. Watch as a house goes from being sheltered from the storm to being a victim of the storm. But you can find and fix those weak spots before they tear loose. This house is getting a roof rebuild unrelated to a storm. That crew's working with veteran roofer Mario Borjak. He says if your roof leaked in a winter storm, that's a helpful warning. It's time for repair. And to keep the roof from coming apart, check the things that hold it together. Two or three years, I'm saying, to get up on the roof and walk and do a walk along and see if there's any bad wood, if the nails are popping off up towards the edge. And um, yeah, because that, that metal gets loose and usually the nails pop up and you have to, you just got to maintain them every two to three years. Those beautiful trees in your yard will not seem so beautiful if they blow down and bash into your house. Proper preps now will prevent that. Mary Slachter of Quality Tree Service says you may love a tree with a dense, shady canopy, but to protect that tree, you need to thin the branches to let the wind flow through. If it isn't, then the air can't pass through, it gets trapped, it pulls down the ends, and then it twists, and the wind comes through the other way and it rips the tree in half or it uproots the tree altogether. Is it fair to say that, say, if you have a windy day, and you look out there and that tree is really getting tossed around, that's a sign that you get trimmed. Now, here's another good reason to want to, here's another good reason to want to trim any tree branches that might touch, uh, lean low enough to touch your house, touch the roof. If they brush against that roof, they will eventually cause that roof to fail. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.